Hello everyone, my name is Ken and in today's video you will see how to tune your own godlike drifting builds in Forza Horizon 5. Thanks to you guys for subscribing to my channel, we literally smashed that 5k mark. Major thank you for all the support over the last one and a half years, I'm glad I have you guys and I hope you would say the same about me. I'm also thinking about changing my name into something like Kenpai, since I don't want to get in any law issues with Kenblog even though he doesn't even know me probably. So tell me what you guys think about it and what name suggestions you got. Anyway, enough talk, let's start with the tutorial. I hope you'll enjoy. First of all, you need to buy a car that can be swapped to all-wheel drive or has all-wheel drive already and has a powerful maxed out stock or swapped engine. It also shouldn't weigh too much compared to the power it got. This is called power to weight ratio. Simply divide the power output of a vehicle by its weight. If your car ends up by at least 0.75 horsepower per kilogram, you're good to go. Cars that doesn't fit into this will have problems if they are too heavy or doesn't have the power. I've decided to use the BMW M3 E92 because it looks good and has some nice engine swap for greater power and doesn't weigh as much as an M5 for example. Apply any design you want and max out the car except for roll cage and tires. You can start by using stock drift or snow tires since those are the tires that feel the best for those builds. I would go with snow tires since they almost slide as much as drag tires but they don't have the weird really fast acceleration that drag tires have. So if you want a point drifter without drag tires you should go with snow tires definitely. But at the end it's all personal preference. Then put some nice rims on it and we are done with the upgrading part. For the tuning we're gonna start with the tire pressure. Make sure to max out your rear tire pressure and keep the front tire pressure stock. Now we're gonna move on to gearing. First, stretch out your final drive all the way to the left. Then you're gonna increase the first gear until it hits the middle of the diagram. After that, change the other gears on your personal preference. In the alignment section you want to make sure your camber is at negative 5 in the front and the rear. The exact opposite for the toe which means negative 5 for the front and the rear. Keep the front caster at 7 degree. For anti-roll bars just soften it by about 30% and balance it out a little bit. If the car has front engine then about 5% more than in the rear. If the car is middle engine then around about 2% more or less in the front and the rear. And for rear engine cars make sure the rear has 5% more than the front. In the spring section make sure you soften it by 30% again and choose the right height you prefer. In damping you will go about 8 rebound stiffness and for bump stiffness go about 4. The principle from anti robots goes here as well if front engine 5% more than in the rear etc. If you have aero, make sure to go all the way to speed. For brakes, go with 85% front brake balance and 200% brake pressure. If that's too much for you, feel free to put it down a little bit until you hit a good spot. And for the last category, differential, we will go without any deceleration and go with a maxed out acceleration for the front and the rear. For the center, you have to look at what drivetrain your car was when you bought it. If it was converted to all-wheel drive then go with 100% rear. If it was all-wheel drive already then make sure you go somewhere between 70 and 85% depending on your driving style. Almost done. Now test drive your car and see if the first gear is too long or too short. To find out that we will do a launch controlish thing where we see if your build has wheel spin right at the start. If your car does this. Make sure you decrease the length of your first gear or the whole final drive depending on your personal preference. If you have too much wheel spin and your car hits the limiter constantly, make sure to increase the length of your first gear. After that try to slide it around for a few drift zones or circuit tracks and rivals. 
If your car doesn't slide enough, go for more tire pressure. If the car slides too much, go with less tire pressure. And if your car doesn't gain as much angle as you want, either increase your center more towards the rear and the differential settings, or make the grip difference bigger by increasing the rear tire pressure and decreasing the front tire pressure. So that was all you need to know on how to build your own godlike drifting car. And thank you again for 5000 subscribers, it's been a life goal of mine for a while and you guys just made it possible. Also let me know what you think about the name change. A point drift build tutorial for all wheel drive cars will drop next I guess. Until then, join me on Twitch, we do some nice Forza stuff over there almost every day. And on Saturdays, I try the tunes you suggested me to try. So if you have any interest, feel free to join me over there. Oh, and join my Discord socials are in the description below. Anyway, thanks for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed and I wish you a great 2022. Let's hope it's going to be better than 2021. See you in the next video. Bye bye.